All right, today we got a new battery from Redodo. Well, let's open it up. Their manual packet, M8 size terminal bolts. All right, so this looks just like their normal 12.8 volt, uh, 100 amp hour battery, but this one features low temperature charging protection. Finally, <laughs> seems like it took some of the some of these manufacturers a little while to to get that. And it also says for trolling motor and more. So I wonder if this has like a high current burst capability. Let's look in the manual and see if there's anything else besides the low temperature protection. Oh yeah, look at this. It says it'll max discharge at 300 amps for five seconds. Okay, so it does have high surge current capability. You can place four in parallel and four in series as well. Okay. All right, so let's charge this guy up and then do a capacity test. All right, so we have fully charged the battery with this Lissity 30 amp smart charger. And uh, let's take a look at the voltage. We're at 14.6, 14.7. Let's see what it looks like with the charger off. 12.9. Okay, I wonder if we over voltage disconnected. All right, so let's set it up for a discharge test. All right, so we're all set up to do the capacity test. Let's turn on the inverter. All right, <laughs> that was interesting. It actually kind of shut down for a second and then came on. All right. So we are discharging at 55 amps. I think that's a pretty good spot there. 722 watts. All right, so I'm just gonna let that run and I'll come back when it's complete. All right, so we're down to 2%. We're at 98.8. Well, we're about to be at 1%. There we go, 1%. So we're at 99 amp hours, 1,269 watt hours. Almost there. All right, looks like we're about to hit full capacity. And there it is, 100 amp hours and exactly 1,280 watt hours. So I'm gonna let it keep running to see what it gets to. Okay, so I just turned the inverter off. It was beeping and we got to 104.49 amp hours, 1,332 watt hours. All right, so we've got this thing banged open. Well, enough to where I can get it the rest of the way. Oh, yeah, there it is easy and here we go let's see what we got on the inside looks like a bigger beefier BMS the solder joints look really nice we've got 310 gauge silicone wires for the negative side feels like a single six gauge for the positive all right let's see if we can get these cells out oh yeah okay cool it's not even stuck down really it's just gonna slide out all right There we go. Let's see if we can tell what these cells are. 
Okay, so we've got uh, a scan. And they, these cells are made by great power. Lithium iron phosphate. It doesn't know the capacity or the energy. They were manufactured 9-20-2023. And there was 3,542 cells produced in that batch. Okay, so it's uh, great power cells. So the construction looks really nice. <laughs> I don't see any problems here. Everything's nice and tight. The wires are all tidy and they're tied up nicely. It's a very good build quality, there's no doubt. Yeah, we got nice high density foam all the way around. We've got spacers in between each cell. Very nice. Yeah, I definitely don't see any build quality issues here. It's a very very good quality. So let's try to find if we've got some temperature sensors. I think we have some. I see the wire going here and across. I think it, it's ending up here on this little blob. Yep, that's it right there. So I wonder if I can just freeze that thing right there in place. All right, so we're going to start charging here. And as you can see, we are putting in oh, like 29 amps. So let's see if we can freeze this guy a little bit. Yeah. So it does, it does indeed work. So it has a low temperature protection as advertised. And it warmed back up and it came back on. Awesome. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap up the video. I'd like to thank Red Odo for sending us out their new battery to test. That's very kind of them. Overall, this is a great battery and it's coming in pretty well under $300. These things just keep getting better and cheaper. So that's going to be it, and I'll catch you on the next one.